is truly a reflection of what students, especially middle school students, um, you know, do experience in a day in and a day out lives of the middle school. Um, and it is a real um, privilege, you know, to be the principal of such creative students here that have embodied this piece of work and that are going to be presenting to you this evening. And without further ado, I'll turn it over to Mr. Kirk. No applause for me, all for these kids that are here tonight. Thank you, Ms. Van Raven. Well, it truly is a pleasure to be here tonight um, to have this screening. It's a wonderful opportunity to showcase student talent and creation. Um, we know that Olivia, who will come up and speak to us in just a minute, has done so many wonderful things while here at Pioneer and even before Pioneer, and we know that she'll go on to do many more amazing things. She'll be attending OSHA next year, is that correct? Yes. To continue her arts career. Um, if you don't already know, just recently at the promotion ceremony, she won the American Legion Award for our school. Yeah. Very prestigious award. Uh, scholarship, citizenship, tell me about patriotism, thank you. Now, the message that is portrayed in this video is one of a very serious nature that we, we take very seriously here at Pioneer. And I know that other middle schools and schools, elementary, high, take very seriously as well. Uh, this message of bullying and how to confront this issue and deal with this issue is dealt with very well in this video. And it is our hope that it goes out even further than here, that others see this and learn from this video and take it to heart and say, hey, right, we, we can do something about this. Um, and, you know, we take this very seriously here at Pioneer, and we are grateful to people like Olivia and the rest of these actors who've decided to say, we're going to stand up against this issue as well. And so we're proud of her and thankful to her, because we were able to show this to all of our students here at Pioneer. Every one of them saw it. So they know how important it is now, I remember the first time I watched it, I came in like halfway, and I saw our wonderful counselors and some other people huddled around a computer in our staff lounge. I'm like, what are you guys watching? And it was, you know, there was a lot of light shed onto the, the screen, and so we're like all trying to, to watch it. And I remember everybody was just quiet, and just going, oh, wow, this is a really good video. You know, and then when we, when we, get to the end, it was, it was just amazing, the feeling, we were sitting there going, wow, that's incredible. Now when I watch it here, with this whole amazing setup and everything, it's even more impactful to me. So, the message is heard loud and clear for me, you know. So I want to thank Olivia, the rest of you guys, for putting this together, for being a part of such a magnificent video, and hopefully it gets more attention outside of Pioneer and Tessa Unified, and, and it goes beyond here. We don't want to stand, I don't want to stand up here and talk too much. Okay, I want to watch this great video, but before I do, uh, I want to bring up Olivia. She's going to say a few things about the video, and, uh, and then we'll watch it. Okay, so, Olivia. Thank you all for coming. I had a lot of fun making this, but I'd really like to thank the cast because they put in so much work. So if you were a part of the cast, could you please stand up? Thank you all again for coming, and I hope you enjoyed the film. We have a little bit of time, and we'd like to invite Olivia up, and anybody that she's asked to come up. We have a few chairs up here. We can just do a, a quick Q&A. Just please go over here and if you want to introduce the panel, introduce yourselves up here, can do that. I'm Olivia. I'm Megan. I'm Carolyn. <laughs> I'm Nikita. <laughs> Alright, let me start off with one question real quick. So Olivia, this is for you. Um, what inspired you to, to do this? Well, it originally started out as, um, I wanted 
to make a movie with Shirley because we hadn't done that before. And I wanted it to be more serious because the last movie I made was called Princess vs. Zombie. <laughs> you can look it up on YouTube. Delaney's in it. <laughs> and um, I thought bullying would be a good topic because it's really relevant to us, especially at our age. And the rest kind of just fell into place after that. And what made you pick all these guys to be well, a lot of actors them, or supporting actors? A lot of them were my friends and I made new friends throughout the year and people would be like, oh, I think it'd be good if this person was in it. And then I have her parts and then they said yes. It's really nice of you to let your sister be in the video, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Most siblings would say, no, you said this one, right? Um, tell me, what, what has this done for all of you? Has it, how has it uh, brought you together? What has it done for your relationships? It's made us a lot closer. I think I know everyone better now because we spent like a lot of time together. Anybody else want to answer that question? Um, definitely for me. I did not know Nikita or Michael very well. Actually, a lot of people. But um, yeah, we really bonded over this. It was a good experience for all of us. It was very fun. <laughs> Um, I'm new to the school, it was my first year here, and so I didn't know anyone. I knew Delaney and Olivia, and that was it. Like, I didn't know anyone. And then after the movie, I became friends with everyone in that cast, so, yeah. Um, Shirley, question for you. How comfortable you were you when Olivia came to you and said, hey, we'd like you to play this role? I'd like you to play this role in this film. Oh, you're gonna be a girl named Penny, and then I'm like, okay. Everyone looked over to me right as like the first scene happened, and I, they all were like, oh, you're the girl in the movie, <laughs> and it was like it was a little freaky. <laughs> I bet, I bet. All right, we want to give everybody else an opportunity to answer, ask any questions, and they can answer anything. Um, so if anybody has any questions, I will gladly bring the microphone to you. Uh, just raise your hand. I can. Jump up in the back, back here. I don't need a microphone, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you developed a strategy for dealing with bullying outside the school? Any of you? In other words, if you, in, if you went to on a trip or you went someplace and you encountered bullying, do you have a strategy for how to deal with it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of, I just, I stand up when I see bullying just because I don't so I don't usually let bullying happen when I'm around because it just it's not something that I like to see. Um, uh, like my mom, I'm really strong-minded. So and my siblings know that. Like I, if I see something that's wrong, I'll go for it. I won't stand for it no matter what. Good. You guys happen to have any kind of uh, plans for this? I mean, is this just a, a little school project? Or do you have any kind of distribution plans? Do you have any way of uh, pushing this out? Uh, the DVD is available on our website. Um, I'm just trying to kind of promote awareness for it. Uh, Pacer, it's a bullying prevention like group. They're trying to. They said that they would try and promote it on their website. It's a very, it, it was a very good representation, and especially coming from a, a, young, a young perspective, you guys are applying how you see life and how you see um, the situation. So it's different than taking an adult's perspective and applying it to a child's or a young person's situation. You guys, it, you're within your peer group, and so what he is actually suggesting is um, maybe bringing it to more school friends because it is that good. The message is that good. So it's a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> so I was going to ask, um, are you guys going to make a single or something? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a question. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not planning on making a sequel, but... No, he's talking about <laughs> the blood as uh, zombie forces. <laughs> Maybe. Let's do a mashup. Paper Rose with zombies. <laughs> <laughs>
they go back in time to the princess. Zombies. Oh. The zombies are good bullies. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Yes, other way in the back. Chris, how long did it take you to write it, and then how long did it take you to actually do all the filming? It took about like a week to write it. I did like I think two rewrites, and then to film it, it took six or seven days. And most of them were school days. We only filmed on two weekend days, and then the editing took a couple. Was that six or seven or sixty-seven? Six or seven. Six or seven. There's nothing she can't do. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> this has been screened and everything. Um, what are your thoughts and feelings? Like, how are you feeling right now? Um, this is something that I've always wanted. I've always wanted to have a film and just have a premiere. So this has been really great. All right. Thank you very much. Just a few more comments. Uh, she mentioned her website. Um, most of you probably already know about it, um, but do you want to give the web address real quick? Uh, it's paperrose.monsicado.org. Okay, if you need to know how to spell Monsicado, it should be on your program. <laughs> right? Or you can talk to them afterwards, Olivia. Mr. and Mrs. Mazzucato, even Julia can answer questions for you. Right? <laughs> Future Wildcat. <laughs> okay, you're all eighth graders. Once a Wildcat, always Wildcat. Yes. Yep. You're always welcome back here, right? Yes. <laughs> Just a couple more comments. Um, if you have any questions about bullying or, or anti-bullying and, and efforts to and what we're doing here. We have two fantastic counselors that are here, Stacy Koski and Melanie Miranda. Um, they are super supportive and always on the front line of combating this issue here at school. Uh, and we have Mrs. Ms. Vanderheim, who you saw earlier, um, and they can answer any questions for you uh, regarding our efforts here and what we're trying to do to, to stem this issue here. Uh, again, we want to thank all of you for being here tonight. Um, show your support to Olivia and all these wonderful young young adults here that are just, you know, doing so many wonderful things. Um, again, we appreciate it. We thank you for coming, and we will uh, close the evening with that. Thank you. Thank you.